Hi, welcome. I'm Faraz Khan. So I'm here to answer the FAQs uh, on what uh, the acquisition business is about and how it impacts your business in terms of delivering business results. And the most important business result any business needs is acquiring customers. How ADA looks at um, consumer acquisitions or a CPA model is uh, very different from how others look at it. There is a business outcome that uh, is being focused on, which is the acquisition that needs to be derived. ADA looks at utilizing AI, tech, and data to deliver those business outcomes, or CPA. We look at a deep dive into your entire consumer funnel and look at how we can derive the best consumer for that outcome. ADA has an extensive amount of consumer uh, segmentation data. Now, we have derived about 350 million device IDs, uh, which we have in our DMP. Uh, there are about 75 data scientists who work on those segmentations. And we reflect those segmentations on the requirements that are there for different clients. So for example, a credit card client would require for their different cards, different sort of consumers that fulfill the requirements that are there uh, for disbursement of that credit card. So our starting point is always data. Our optimization point is always looking at tech and AI to drive and find those consumers that we've identified in that entire circle and deliver that across to you. So we focus on what's of most interest to you, which is a outcome, which is consumer acquisition. That outcome has to be digital led. It has to have a consumer digital journey. Now, some examples of this and three focus categories that we have are telco financial services, BFSI, FinTech and e-wallets. In addition to that, we also are very, very focused on growth hacking. And when we say growth hacking means looking at your entire consumer funnel, how can we improve that funnel so that we are able to garner the consumer acquisition at a valid pace for you, a valid value for you, and deliver to your business outcomes. And that critically requires a uh, look into your analytics, that critically requires a look into your consumer segment, and how do we growth hack this entire piece together using our data, uh, proprietary data that we hold, and delivering that business result to you. So this is an effective model because we look beyond the vanity matrix. So when I say vanity matrix, I, for example, on an app, we don't look at installations because they don't hold any value until the consumer does something after that. So we look at steps further than that for consumer acquisition, a registered user rather than an installed user, a person who installs and registers, a transacting user, a person who pays for a service that you're offering. For you, that is a consumer who's gonna be paying for your uh, goods and services.